When you travel outside of Canada, do you turn your smartphone off? Do you leave it behind or do you go on airplane mode? According to TELUS, only one in five Canadians turn on their phone while they're outside of Canada and roam on a local carrier's cellular network. The biggest reason the carriers say that many people don't use their phone while they're away is because of the uncertainty of not knowing how much it will cost them to make a call or post a picture on Instagram or send a tweet from their phone. The web is littered with news stories of Canadians who went away, made a call from their sunny vacation, and then came home only to find their phone bill was $200 more just because of that one call. And then they had to call the phone company to complain about it to try to get that resolved. So not only did they get bill shock, they spent many hours on the phone when they got home complaining about it. And now, Canada's largest carriers are turning to what they're calling worry-free packages to get people to turn on their phone and use it while they're away from Canada. So while international roaming is only a tiny source of revenue, the carriers are looking to squeeze money wherever they can to help increase the average amount consumers pay on their monthly bill. It's called ARPU, and it's a really important metric in the telecom industry. The most aggressive pricing plan is coming from Rogers, the country's largest wireless carrier. It started a plan called Roam Like Home, which allows consumers to travel to certain countries around the world and pay a flat $5 or $10 fee to use their device like they would at home. It's capitalizing on the fact that for many people, these days at least, leaving your phone at home is a terrifying proposition. For The Financial Post, I'm Christina Pellegrini.